when it comes to print and cut silhouette says that a one millimeter margin of error is acceptable but what about when it's not what about when you need your print and cut to come out absolutely perfect we're going to address this issue today and there is an easy fix so stick around my name is Brenda Lambert. I am a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success and we are getting ready to learn all about Print Bleed today. This was introduced in version 4.2, but it has been updated for V5. We're going to go over all of the things, but first go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And at any point during this video, when you have that aha moment, be sure to hit the like button. It helps me out a ton. This secret weapon is hidden right inside of your print and cut panel. Now the print and cut panel has been moved in V5. It used to be in the page setup panel. Now it has its own designated spot. You can enable registration marks here at the top. Mine is already checked. But when you come down here to the bottom, you will see enable print bleed. All you have to do is check this little box and you can control the bleed radius as well. The default setting is 0.05 inches. Now we found print bleed and turned it on. The next step is to test it out. Let's try a simple shape to start with. We'll do one with print bleed on, one without, and see the difference in the cut. Let's actually go with two separate circles. I'm going to place one right at the top here where print and cut is typically really accurate. I'm going to duplicate that and set the second one down on the bottom right hand corner where it's typically off just a smidge. To start this one off, we are going to disable the print bleed. So let's uncheck that box. And for consistency's sake, I'm going to group these together, copy, open up a new page, and paste. Now we can turn on the registration marks for this one and enable the print bleed. And we'll have a chance to compare each of the prints and then the cuts as well. Both of the pages are printed out. This one has no print bleed. This one has the print bleed. This one looks a little bit wonky. They're not actually circles anymore and they are definitely just a little bit larger. The registration marks came out exactly as they should on both. So let's go ahead, run these through the Cameo 5 Alpha and see how it goes. Now it is a little bit difficult to pick up on camera, but you can see there is definitely a small white outline on this circle. This one is from the bottom right hand corner where it's typically off a little bit more and you can see there is a white outline on this side but not so much on this side. When we take a look at the paper again it's a little bit hard to see because it's not terrible but there is a bit of a black outline left in some spots on the top one and there is a black outline around this edge of this circle, but not so much around this edge here. So while I would say this is definitely within the one millimeter margin of error that Silhouette expects, it's not perfect. Let's see if we can do better with the print bleed on. That one is solid black all the way around, as is the one that was printed in the lower right hand corner. This is the printed sheet after the circles have been cut out and you can see the black ring around both stickers and that gave us the extra bit of ink that we needed to eliminate that white edge. So that went just as expected. Now let's crank it up a notch, grab something a little more colorful and turn it into a more real world example. I chose this image of a reindeer because it is so very colorful. It has some pink around the edges and some tans. There's some blues in here. 
but the goal is to see how the print bleed extends when there are multiple colors around the edge and not just a black circle. This page has no print bleed and this page set up exactly the same except for the print bleed is enabled on this one. I am leaving the bleed radius at the default. I'm going to run off and print these real quick and I will be back in just a minute. Okay, we are back with the two different printed versions. This one is the original. You can see it has the nice crisp clear outline on it and this is the one with the print bleed. It does look a little bit odd. It's kind of pixelated around the edges. It has extended the color, but I'm not real fond of the way it looks, to be honest. Let's get these cut out and see how it goes. Now the outline on this cut was a little bit jagged, so we had a little bit of a tear here. But looking past that, there is just a little bit of color left on the paper. And this is the one without the bleed. And the rest of it really looks pretty good. Now the actual cut, you can see there is a little bit of a white outline here. And a little bit here. It's not bad at all. This actually came out pretty good. There's a little bit around the ear here and a little bit here as well. This is our last cut. This is the one with the print bleed. Now here is the cut result with the print bleed turned on. This one was with the print bleed turned off. And since this one came out really quite accurate, there's not a whole lot of difference. This is what the page looks like after the cutout and most of that pixelation is still left here. So to wrap things up, if you are having issues with a white edge around your print and cut projects, you can turn on the print bleed and it's going to eliminate that problem. I highly recommend you give it a try. Now go create something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.